Hello America, my name is Hype Williams. Today I'm about to bring you a story of the Cracklin family. We got all the drama from a typical ghetto family from the suburbs of New Mexico. We got a father, a mother, a brother, and a son. It's a crazy story, so you stay tuned. Now, let's just check on Mr. Johnny Two Scoops. Johnny, how you doing? Hey, man, what's going on? What's going on there? Are you looking for cans? You know me, man. This is my business, man. I'm looking for my cans. All right, stop. All right. Tasha, let's ask you a few questions. Why do they call you who's banging? Well, guess what? All the cans I picked up, I bought that trailer, okay? The cans? What about all the Pepsi cans I oh tried to get? What about uh, You only took off the tops of them. <laughs> that was only five cents. The cans I brought were okay, ten cents. Okay, well, five cents add up. Barry, you, you see what I mean, Barry? Barry, she don't do nothing. She sat around eating bonbons all day. You don't do nothing but sit around and pick your toenails all day. Oh, my God, Barry. She don't even put the real cheese in the macaroni. She keeps the powder we cheese. Get I'm pretty sure I've heard enough out of these two. Let's bring on another guest. Let's bring on their son, Jambalaya. Woo! What's up? What's up, baby? What's How up? you doing, son? Yeah, what's How up, you son? been? Good. Jambalaya, it's good to have you on the show. Hold Tell on, me. Cut. 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 Well, I got you. Got Jambalaya, how old are you? I'm 18. 18? Yes, sir. Well, he built like an 18, but it really too. Jump alive. You see what I mean, Barry? Like you think he's 18. You got a mom over here. Two year old jump alive. You don't know how old you is yet? You Remember see what you saying? talk about? No this? kind of structure, Barry. How many times is this jump alive? I try to raise my son, and he still thinks he's a kid. Daddy, you never wrong, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to work. I have to work get all well. the cans. What do you work at? I the pick up the cans. I have the little bit of company. You ain't got no job, man. You ain't got no job. I pick up and I make fifty dollars a day oh, getting all these cans. Oh, I have to close. Look at the clothes you have on, son. I do that. I I know know you know how many cans I, I take? Do you I know? Out there on the street on Jefferson Street. Oh my there. God. Oh God. Jerry. Oh God. Right <laughs> so Tasha, tell us about yourself. What you wanna know? What are you gonna do now? See, I done moved on. I got me a new lady and everything. You know, after the show, me and Johnny got into it and he chopped my hand off because he was mad because I told him I was really a dude. So now I got a fake hand, you know, but my baby, she don't care nothing about me. So, Jambalaya, you seem to go on a lot of fishing trips with him. What is it that he'll usually do on the trips? Oh, uh, me, me and my uncle, we always have fun. You always put in those. He put in those white stuff and his little lemon white. Are white you doing coke with my son? I wouldn't call it coke. I got a cold man. No, there's no cold with no white stuff. No, we gotta put some. No, you have been. I'm Jerry. You sure ain't talking oh, about God, no tissue. Uh, Jerry, I'm gonna keep on saying that, Jerry. <laughs> Dad, I just wanna love you. Son, I've been loving you since I got you from the Make a Wish program on the television. Now. Why is your accent so thick anyway? I'm from the South. Why do you sound like you sound? Well, I want to go back to my mother in Jamaica. Jamaica? Yeah. Boy, when did I... Oh my God, it's been a long time since I was in Jamaica. I forgot about that. That's where your mom is. It wasn't that man freak. It was your mom over there. Boy, you ship your tail back over there next week anyhow. Yeah? Yes, you're going back. You Thank take you, her with you. You take her with you. I'm tired of her too. She don't cook or clean either. <laughs> Action. Maybe on some of this. I'm sure I'm glad I got rid of that Johnny baby because he like to ram me crazy. I, you know, I, I like our little relationship. You know, you don't talk. I ain't got to worry about arguing with no. Oh, no. Oh my God! What is your problem, man? I don't know, man. I'm just what do you have on the show for? It's about to... my family. Hey, Barry. Hey, what is he on here for, Barry? Are you part of the family? Oh, family? You're part of my family. This is about no, me and my is son. Part of my family. That's my son. You ain't in this family. Allow me to interject here. Allow me 
Allow me to get a question. What's going on for a there? second? What it is, catfish? Man. What is it that you do? I'm a fisherman, man, and I preach. Preach okay. some on, preach some. Oh, he's right. not no real preacher. Give him a little something. You're something. a preaching oh, fisherman. Oh, oh, he is the faithest God believer. I get distributed to the You just mad because God don't believe in you. Shut oh, up. you <laughs> shut up. You shut up. I'm tired of hearing you. I'm tired of hearing you. Barry, go on with I your story, I wake up in the mornings and look at you. Damn, you still here? I you am daddy. so sick and tired of your mouth. I'm I want you to do something mouth. to your hair, honey. Do something with your hair. Do something to your hair. All the time, all the time. That's why I'm always over there. Who asked you? Catfish? I asked him. Okay, well, Barry, it's your oh, show. It you go on. You what, what, what do you want? Anyway, Jambalaya, you seem to go on a lot of catfishing trips with him. What is it that he usually does on those or does on those those trips? Not he always put the white stuff on his nose. I don't know why. What have you been doing around my son? I have a cold. Cut. Are you Wait. All right, we're back, and I believe that Tasha has something to tell the family. Oh my God, what do you have to say now, right. Tasha? Well, man, if you shut up long I don't, don't want to hear your mouth. mouth. I can't I fish you being mouth. quiet. You now have now. nothing to do with my now family. Now. Let her I talk. Can, what okay. do you want, Tasha? Let, what is? let me say it. Oh my God. The reason why I brought y'all here is because I'm sick of your daddy. Get on my nerves. First of all, I'm sick of you. I'm a bit sick of you. I'm sick of you. And I'm really a dude. You're right. What? I'm How a dude. This is what you think you're a dude. What are you doing? Give me that out. Come on. You're supposed to have that boy down there. What? I'm a dude. Did you get it? Hit me, mama. I'm not breastfeeding your daddy. What is going on? I'm not breastfeeding. What are you talking about? I can't believe you're a dude. Okay. Well, I'm not a dude. 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 I'm sure I'm glad John ain't here no more. That man like to ram me crazy. See, baby, that's why I like you, because, you know, you don't talk, I ain't got to worry about arguing with nobody. So, it's just pretty so sweet. Shit. I just, you know, Johnny just like the guy on my nerves. He made me want to kill him. And you know what? When I find that nigga, I might just kill him. <laughs> so, Catfish, are you still going to be a preacher? No, man, I'm a... Try something new. So Jambalaya, why are you crying? I just want to know who's my mother, you know? I got I don't want to talk about it. No. I mean, what does she want to know? I mean, since the show, Johnny got mad at me and cut my hand off, so I mean, now you see I got a pig on with a kickstand, and I mean, but my baby, it don't matter to her. You say I got me a new boot thing and everything, so everything gravy, you feel me? Holla! This is a documentary of the Cracklin family, a typical African-American family coming from the ghetto into the suburbs. We're going to display the stories of how DNA, drugs, fishing, a vacation in Jamaica all came together to form this Cracklin family. America, I hope you enjoyed this documentary presented to you by myself, Samuel, Sexual Chocolate, a.k.a. Big and Sexy, Too Fine for Your Wine. I always take your wife, War. Peace. Go. Well, this has been one of the most screwed up families I've dealt with in a long time. So, um, I guess the only thing I can say is... Uh, don't go looking for cans. Don't go looking for mannequins as a girlfriend. And stay away from fishing creatures.